Thanks for joining us, guys. Good old guys are gonna try something new. We are gonna to toast to our subs before every video. Thanks for joining us. You. We appreciate you. We're glad you're here. Good times, good fun. Good griddlin. Good, good griddlin. griddlin. Um, but We're, thank you for being with us. Today, we do have a good cook. It's kind of for the kids. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a kid cook. It's basically chicken fingers. You've had them, I've had them. Our kids love them. What's special about these ones? Though? It's special is because the captain. <laughs> Jeff, oh. can you can you uh, really? You're gonna cook with you, uh... you're, you're gonna cook with that? No. <laughs> oh, not that captain. Not that captain. This captain, Jeff, over here. Wait a second. Over here. This captain. Captain Crunch. I Cereal. Come on, you, it's for kids. This... It's for kids. I'm, I'm, put some I'm of going. That in yours. I'm going home. You told me that you were cooking with captain down. today. He t guys, he texted that we were cooking with captain. I'm totally Come let on. down now. Totally let down. Guys, really simple. There's a local restaurant right near here that makes. I think I don't know if they call it Captain Crunch. They do. They, they do. do. Yeah, Captain Crunch. I couldn't fingers. find the recipe, so I made my own, and my kids love it. Absolutely love it. Did Karen like it the other night? Yeah. Did yeah, she I like it? it. She it was, was delicious. Liked it? We we're so, both shocked. We we're like, wow, Chris made something tasty. Superstar right here, Captain Crunch. <laughs> we are gonna do a video. Stick around. Get that out of here. All right, guys, so I'm going to go over the uh, list of ingredients, but first I'm going to put Nate to work. Fine. Get these cut up, ready to go, because uh, we still got to bread them. So he's going to be cutting these up into chicken finger strips, basically. About three eighths thick, Nate, is what I like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit Jeff in a second. So, guys, just about three eighths. Just yeah. right around Chris three and I have argued about a quarter inch versus three eighths <laughs> versus half an inch. But uh, the, the thing to keep in mind with these is if you cut them too thick, right, what happens is you, this edge ends up needing to be turned on the griddle and fried. We so don't want to do that. You want to keep that in mind. If you cut them about, yay. Looks good. You know, hey, you guys it's a shallow about, fry, so you, guys, you, don't want, you don't want them too thick. You've all eaten chicken fingers. You know how thick they are, right? And they will cook pretty quickly with the, at that, uh, that thickness. So. Yeah, they'll cook real quick. All right, so now you keep going. Main ingredient, guys. Get Jeff, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Captain Crunch is the main ingredients. What again? I don't know the recipe that the, the, that the the place that my kids love, but I'm guessing they might mix it with cornflakes and this. So two cereals, but panko. I'm doing panko, Captain Crunch. A uh, little bit of onion powder and a little bit of garlic powder, and that's it. That's all that goes in there. And salt and pepper. Do you egg wash it or anything? Or? That's what goes into into the for the breading. So yeah, we're gonna do. Two eggs. Okay. We're gonna scramble those up with probably close to a cup of milk. So right. we're gonna dip the chicken right in there, then right into the uh, breading. Wow, the mosquitoes are out. Yeah. Had, I've got my door <laughs> wide open, and all of a sudden, what did it top out of 58? Today? All that means is that the warmth is coming. That's yeah, all it's the... coming. 58. Um, and then the kids do like a mustard sauce. It's a hot and sweet. Surprisingly, it's got a little tinge to it, and the kids like it. Um, they're gonna be dipping into that. At the same time, Jeff. Requested, of course. Jeff does. Jeff doesn't let me do simple cook, cooks. We all know that. I don't know what you're talking about right now. He, we're gonna do a uh, a wrap for Jeff, a chicken oh, finger wrap. Nice. So, with that, we got lettuce, tomato, and Nate is gonna make some type of remoulade. 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 So, guys, let us know down in the comments if you think this looks like a simple cook because it they give simple. me crap all the time, and I'm just looking at this table full of stuff. All right. Go put the camera right there. I'm going to put you to work now. Let's go. <laughs> How's that coming, Nate? Yeah, it looks like a whole bunch of chicken fingers. It definitely looks like a bunch. Nice. Ah, ah. The dogs are attacking. Here dogs they come. Oh, All right. That's great. All right, guys, just for the for the uh, breading. I'm going to go a little heavy because we had a lot. I didn't realize we had so many. So I got two cups of Captain Crunch, the main ingredient, and then I'm going to do probably about the same for the panko. Uh, about a cup oh. and a half. All right, guys, so just going to add a little bit of onion powder. Probably a teaspoon or two. And a little bit of garlic powder. As you can tell, I do not measure. <laughs> Salt really? and pepper. Huh. Never have. <laughs> so you're not That's a baker then? One thing about my cooking, it always comes out different. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> sometimes it's a win, sometimes it's not. Condiment and king. Then the key there. is to you wanna oh I gotta get the air yeah, out. You get the air out. Um, you wanna squish this. As much as you can. 
you guys could probably use a food processor. Food processor, make it real easy. <laughs> but this is gonna be. This smart. is a little bit easier to me. All right, so easier for cleanup, maybe. So you right? want to get this fine. You want to get it real fine because it's gonna stick to the chicken a lot easier. So this is what happened when we we're when we were testing this. The first time Chris did it, he didn't. He didn't do this and get it real fine. And that's probably super loud for you guys oh, yeah, listening sorry. to that. But uh, I said to him, I go, Chris, why don't you use a food processor? And he's like, eh, well, then I have to wash a food processor. <laughs> I'm like, it's a dry cereal. There's not much to wash. Yeah. You got to get it out. You got to make sure you have the red knives. Yeah. Oh, that's what he said. He goes, you got to plug oh, awesome. it in. And I'm like, oh, all right. Forget it. Then. <laughs> so you guys get it. You just get that as fine as you can. You want it basically like breadcrumb consistency. Exactly. All right, so next up, we're going to do the egg mix with the milk, and then we'll stop right on the chicken. Now for the egg wash, just eyeballing. I got two eggs in here and a good portion of milk. I'll throw in a little salt and pepper. And just mix it up. I'm going to get these guys, one of them to put gloves on, and you know, I, do think, I think we should try the bag. Uh, yeah, we can try that if you want. It makes it a little easier. So I do this. I do this thing I was talking to Chris about, where you cut up the chicken the same way, season flour, put it in a bag, shake it up, and pan fry it. Shake and bake. I call it magic chicken because it comes out so tasty and it's so easy. Shake and bake. What movie? <laughs> I have no idea. Talladega Tal 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 Night. Shake and bake. All right, guys. So time to bread them. What I'm gonna do? I've already threw the chicken right in here. Let it get it all nice and get the egg open. I'm gonna do three to four at a time, right in here, right in the bag. And then it's shake and bake time. <laughs> you had way too much fun saying that. I kind of love that movie. <laughs> Magic Man. All right, so we got three in there. And then it's just all about mixing it up. If you guys are going to use this bag trick, don't put too many in the bag at once. Yeah. You Otherwise, the better. you just kind of turn your breading to. Push it right in there. You can see we did a couple. They came out great. I'll show you right now live. How's that look? Looks like a chicken finger. That looks, looks good. good. Ricky Bobby's my best friend. <laughs> Shake and bake. Let it go, Chris. Let it go. It. All right, guys. So we're going to continue on. Actually, we will show you again. We're doing a batch for the kids, and then I'm going to add a little, of course, some spice <laughs> for the boys. So we're going to throw in some uh, Texas Pete dust. We have a sub. Sean Missy. Sean Missy. He had sent us a package of Texas Pete products. This rub being one, this hot sauce being another, which we'll be putting on the wraps for sure. Uh, we appreciate you. Big shout out to you, Sean. We're gonna let you know what we think of that because I mean, it looks like half is gone. It's only because we split it. <laughs> we haven't used it yet. So we're gonna use it on tonight's cook. Uh, so stay tuned. We're gonna get the rest of these all breaded up and then throw them on the griddle. A few moments later. All right, Chris is still hard at work breading chicken fingers and I'm gonna whip together a quick uh, remoulade by the seat of my pants. I, I don't have any particular plan, but we're going to start. We'll with tell some, you if it stinks. <laughs> if it's, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to start with some canes simply because Chris has gone through his uh, dukes, and I don't want to use all the rest of his dukes. It didn't last so, too long. I had no, a one. I'm almost I, I just too. ordered another container. Just one? Uh, two. One for Dave. I forgot <laughs> so to hand him some. A healthy dose of mayo. Just about a cup. Yeah, I'd say a cup, maybe a little bit more. I got some capers. I'm going to go in there, give it a little bit of brininess. And try and give that, can't believe how bad these mosquitoes are so quickly. A little bit of a mash on the capers. All right, some red onion. He's doing a dance over here. Hey, mosquitoes getting, like you. I'm getting annihilated by these mosquitoes. So I want a fine dice on this because when you uh, dip your chicken finger, if I have giant chunks of onion in there, they're not going to come back up. They're going to stay in the mayonnaise. So, not, yeah. If we're not complaining about the cold, we're complaining about mosquitoes. <laughs> I'm not. I got jeans on. <laughs> yeah. If you go too big with the onions, right, then they're not going to stick to the chicken fingers. So I'm going to go with a real fine dice here. That's probably more than enough. And then, again, compliments to Sean. Go with a healthy, healthy dose of the Red Hut. And healthy dose of pepper. You done over there yet? It's taking you so long. Well, chicken, dude. <laughs> a 
whole bunch of garlic salt. You want me to get my mixer sorry, for you, Nate? Garlic powder. Yeah, grab the you food want me to get the mixer? there if you don't mind. <laughs> and a couple of drops of... Jeff, how do you say that? Worcestershire. There you go. Wow. With confidence. Worcester. Worcester. Right, let's get that mixed up. I'm just going by the ingredients. You can't go wrong with that. Yeah, it should be tasty, I'm thinking. Doesn't look hot enough yet. It's not red enough. <laughs> Take a little taste. Yeah, okay. So it tastes a little mayonnaise-y. So I'm going to come back with a little bit more of the Worcestershire. Share, share. Worcestershire. <laughs> Say three times. And a lot more of the, uh, a lot more of the peats. I definitely taste the onion. So I want to cut that a little bit and go with a little bit more of the capers. So I don't really want it to taste like mayonnaise. So far we're up to about two tablespoons of capers. A cup of mayo, give or take. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire. Worcestershire? Call it whatever you want. Just work on your chicken already. Yeah. Just Come work on. on your chicken. Almost done. And about two tablespoons of hot sauce. Is that the stuff? Yeah, that's good. Nice. I like that. That's tasty. And a little bit of kick in the back. Zing. Little zing. Thank Good. you, Sean. Nice. Thank you, Sean. All right, griddle's going. We're going to throw these on in like two minutes. I'm trying to keep them separated because I don't want them on top of each other because when they get on top of each other, they stick to each other and nothing good happens. Jeff showed us on that one of, our, one of his videos. <laughs> Attic. <laughs> yeah. Attic, that's right. Yeah. All right, time to cook, guys. This we, is we're doing a shallow fly, fry. <laughs> shallow fly. Shallow fry on the fly. <laughs> um... So it, I am using a lot of oil to get these things going. And I got these separated. The adults with the little kick in it <laughs> on this side. Small sizzle. You get the, I get all the burners at medium high heat. But it is a little cool out here. It's, yeah. I don't know, it's not cold, but it's probably 40 something, right? Yeah, my breading's holding pretty good here. That's surprising how, how good that took. With the bag? Yeah, that yeah. looks really good. Oh. I don't know why. Every time Chris does something, it comes out really good. I'm just shocked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> and we do have our warming rack up here when these do get done, different times. Yukon Glory. Thank you. Again, yeah. Yukon Glory. We, I tell you, we are so impressed with your products. You guys can talk. Nate, you guys got the shelves. I don't have the shelves. That but. guy doesn't mess around, Yukon Glory. He seriously engineers his stuff. He really does. Yeah. Even like the, the legs down here, the, the thickness of the metal, and the quality of it. Yeah, it's almost too strong. Yeah, it was a little tough to push it down onto the grill. Definitely holds tight. And we got the oven that we're gonna be using. I just love the rack. Oh, yeah. um, you know, the rack that goes oh, on yeah. the side shelf here. Yeah, a little trough. Yeah, so convenient. So thank you, Yukon Glory. Absolutely. Ooh. That's right. Oh. Hey, I'm with Jeff, Chris. That uh, breading really stayed on. Um, yeah. You know, just milk and eggs. That's all it is. Well, I mean with the bag too. Yeah. yeah. I wish I did that with the attic. <laughs> <laughs> the attic was good, Jeff. I don't care what you In my defense, it was low carb. You know, so you, yeah, it, was it, was keto, it was a keto breading. It was right? a protein powder, yeah. yeah. But man, is that stuff gooey. I figured something out for that. You'll see it in the next video. So traditional with the shallow fry, you hit them with the oil after you put them down because uh, the breading sucks up some of the oil on the griddle right away, so you come back at the second pass that Chris is doing now. This is not gonna take long, I can already tell. I mean, it, we're getting... That is a good looking griddle, man. So you come back with the second pass, and as you guys can see, it really starts oh, to yeah. shallow fry. Yep. I'm thinking, maybe you watching the clock, I'm, what, maybe four minutes aside? I'm actually not four watching. Four minutes, 10 seconds? I'm not watching the clock at all. I'm hoping <laughs> that you burn them so we can pick on you. Oh, nice. <laughs> I do want to get, a, not burnt, but I do want a nice, GBD, Golden Brown Delicious. Yeah, that's what I want. Well, the good thing about it this is... It might be a little golden you, black You didn't put delicious. flour in it, <laughs> so you're not going to get that chalky taste, so you don't have to overcook it. Right. You know, it's just no. a matter. It, that'll be nice. So well, it only took us an hour to get them on here, but it is a simple cook, I swear. <laughs> it's not a simple cook. He's lying. It's not a Jeff cook. Listen, go watch it's one of Jeff's Jeff cooks. Cook, it's yeah. simple. Yeah. <laughs> the ingredient list didn't come to three pages, so it's simpler than Jeff's cooks. Remoulade, oh. 62 ingredients, <laughs> six different processes. Yeah, yeah, simple. 
Simple. Well, we got you guys. We're gonna let these cook for a little bit, but I do want we do want a, shout, uh, a couple shout out. Uh, we did a live what Thursday night? Yeah. Um, oh, Chanel. Chanel. Start Chanel? I, yeah. I think it's David Chanel. I'm not sure, but it's Chanel. Thank you so much. We uh, again, thank you. That was we, huge. We are awesome super chat. Totally taken back by what yeah. you did. We really appreciate it. And everybody uh, else who joined. I mean, we yeah. had 200 folks Ashley in there. Ashley Gull uh, yeah. was in there. Uh, Everyone. Barbecue. What's his name? Uh, Every barbecue. Every barbecue. Yeah. Joe. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> Hobo stopped in, my Hussy stopped spirit in animal, yeah. Hussy stopped in. Yeah, it's fun. That uh, was fun. Yeah, you guys, we enjoy your company. We're, we're, we're liking what we're doing. We're liking the family that we're growing with. And we appreciate you. Um, yeah. So just a shout out to everybody. To who, shout out to all who, you guys. Yeah. Except yeah. you. Comments have been crazy. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> we appreciate in, the interactive. Uh, <laughs> we've got a lot of comments. Nate keeps complaining about how many we have. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I am not complaining. I, it brightens my day because you read through them like every third one just cracks me up. I'm like literally it's funny stuff. Out loud. Yeah. Hey, who's that weird guy? New Jersey something? <laughs> Jersey yeah. Workshop. Yeah. Not a weird guy. What's Matt. his name? Fat Matt? No, Matt. Matt. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I'm nice. just kidding, Matt. You bust, you bust him, I'll bust him too. Thunky. You want to get on the great. camera? Come on. Thank you you want to say it. hello? Come on, up here. He's waiting. Come He's like this, plenty. He Come smells food. He smells yeah. food. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <good boy. laughs> All right, guys, we're going to let these cook uh, probably another two minutes or so, and then we'll flip them up, and we'll be back. Hey, while I have you guys, I do want to show you something. I got a mat down here. Funny story. The other night when I was cooking with <laughs> Nate, this is the, my first, well, second cook now. I cooked the other night, but for the winter, I pulled it out, and I forgot to put my... Grease trap. My grease trap on. I totally spaced it, and thank God I had the mat under here because my deck would have been crucified. It would have been a nasty oil spill. You can still see the oil down there. Have uh, you uh, looked under the mat just to be? I, it was over there when I did oh, it. So all right. <laughs> I've even moved it. So, but guys, I mean, this is made by Ultra, uh, and I. If you don't it's, have one, make sure you get one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know what, Jeff? You might as well keep that on. These are just about ready. Your deck's going to end up looking like all of our shirts. Right. So what do you think for time on this, Chris, before you flip them the first time? I, I think it was about three minutes. Three to what four, yeah. I think it was three and a half. four minutes, nine seconds, and eight tenths yeah, of a all second. Right, all right, wise guy. There's always a wise guy. <laughs> You're the one who's always telling us. Yeah, but that's my thing. I'm trying to take my thing. <laughs> Can we call these done yet? <laughs> Not yet. They look pretty close. They are close. Didn't take long at all. Uh, what we're gonna do, we're, I'm just gonna put them up in the warming rack, get the, hopefully a, a kid or two out here to try them. And uh, the Yukon Glory warming rack. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's too bad we're not sponsored by them. Because, I know, uh, we really, I really should like be. Their pro their products. Hey, Yukon Glory, if you're watching this. Yeah, feel free to sponsor <laughs> us. We love you. Yeah, we do. All right, yep. All right, so. Now, my, here's my question. Which ones have the cayenne and which ones don't? So these all do not right here. That one you made me pull up is right here, so we're good. We're good. All right, I don't want any kids. I'll make sure your kid gets <laughs> <laughs> Give my kid the spicy one. Yeah. yeah, all right, guys, we are gonna start stacking these hey, right up here. let's see the other here. side. Let's see the other side as you're pulling them off. So, that one's a little thicker. Look good, and, Chris. Uh, yeah. It may look good. A decent amount of warmth up here. And I still want to keep these guys a little bit separated as much as possible. Yeah, you don't possible. want to stack them on top of each other? Is that what you're saying? Yes, or? sir. Yeah. Move that one too quick. So the cook, when you actually get to it, simple, you know, you saw that. Medium to high heat, closer to the high side only because of our temperature, I think. But, uh... Yeah, simple 17 steps later and we're here. Yeah, okay, Jeff. <laughs> oh, it's also going to depend on... let it go. I think you're having a flashback. It's going to depend, on too, on how thick you cut them and uh, what the temperature is outside. Yeah. Guys, we're going to call that... Done! <laughs> <laughs> Taste test coming up. All right, Jack, you're our taste test. Come on, let's see what you think. We secretly swapped the spicy ones for the... No, no we didn't. <laughs> How's it taste? Delicious. I love it. Like the restaurant one or... Better than the restaurant. Better? Whoa, really? <laughs> I have to go to this restaurant now. Can you taste the Captain Crunch? Is it sweet? I can taste the Captain ah! Crunch. Oh, nice. Good. I like the breading yeah. and yeah. how it's toasted. Nice and crispy. Yeah. Nice. nice. Thumbs up.
Thumbs up. Definitely recommend. <laughs> All right. Victory. <laughs> nice. All right, guys. Next up, we're going to build a couple. Do you, do you want to try one, Nate, on camera? Or do you want to build a try. sandwich? I don't want a sandwich. I was, I was just going to try one with a little remoulade. You lost one in your... I know that. <laughs> Which one was the spicy side? This side. This side? All right. Jeez, you made them all pretty big. I'll take this guy. What's surprising about these... Good job cooking them, Chris. Not dry. <laughs> you know, honey mustard, too, if you want to try it in that, too. No, it's just delicious. I could eat these all day, every day. <laughs> Good. I really could. Good. They don't taste sweet. There's a little bit of sweetness from the uh, Captain Crunch, but not like you would think. I love it. Good stuff, man. Nice. Dunk loves it, too. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> Duncan's looking for his toys. All right, so we're going to quickly build a uh, couple wraps for Jeff and I for our dinner, right, Jeff? Yes. Lettuce, tomato. I'm going to go with the uh, honey mustard. Put that on it. I'm going to do the rum a lot. Yes. And I might put a little peach just on the top of it just to... <laughs> Here we go. So, get a wrap. We're gonna get a close so Chris, that. Chris said he made the perfect wrap. Both uh, ends. <laughs> I don't know if he would call it perfect when he can't let go of it or else it's gonna spring open because it's so overstuffed. Mine's a little more manageable. See, Jeff's. <laughs> Jeff's, yeah. Yeah, Jeff's looks a little As bit more. It's dripping normal. all over your yeah. thumb and everywhere. That's yeah. all right. And I'm digging Have it. Have at it, boys. Oh, hold on. Let mm. me pull a Jeff. Hey, Jeff, how's that taste? How is that? <laughs> is that good? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. That's a great combination. Mm -hmm. the, the chicken fingers came out awesome, Chris. So chicken we got, really did. And this, we got the your remoulade. Remoulade, Chicken yeah. fingers. Oh, yeah. There's another Chrisism. Mm. <laughs> and there's another stain on I the I put deck. some pizza, hot, uh, pizza, Texas beef, hot sauce on top, cheese, lettuce, and tomato. Oh my God, it's delicious. Yeah. Wow. Mm. That remoulade is awesome too, Nate. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. glad you like it. Yeah. For fly by the seat of my pants. Oh, yeah. And these yeah. chicken fingers are like perfect. Like cooked absolutely perfect. I think so too. I'm getting a nice little crunch. For chicken breast, mm. usually you expect that to yeah, be a little dry. It's dry. It's not. No. no that's it's taste. That's one difference with these. We salute you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you too. And your yeah. cousin. And your cousin. There we go. We got two captains. Go. Two captains. <laughs> yeah, but no, Jeff, that's it. It's a big difference when you make them like this on the griddle versus. Uh, what you get when you deep fry them, but the chicken's not dry. It's oh, nice there's no moist. way you could bake it and get get this yeah. moisture. Yeah. Mm. I mean, with the crust and everything. Mm. Chicken's cooked perfect. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. All right. Mm. We what already called it done. We called it. Called it done. We called it done. Like, subscribe. See you on the next one. And thanks See you again. See you in the next video. Thank you guys.